<laughs> Hi YouTubers. Oh. Yeah, it's okay. It's recording. I just wanted to check the uh, red light. Uh, today I'm gonna make uh, this video here just because I have a couple of comments uh, regarding the GPS here camera and uh, claim that it doesn't work well. Well, my beautiful wife is gonna take over. Yeah, okay. I, you had to be in the so let's start. This thing here. Yeah, you can you can shot through. That's my dash camcorder, dash camera. It's gonna record after a couple of seconds. It's GPS guided and it's gonna change into a speedometer, which is of course a GPS. Yeah, you can you can record. Oh you you can here now. It's a, it's a kind of okay. Anyway, and uh, we're gonna check with this device here. I'm not promoting this app or anything else, but I just wanna stop the rumors and allegations that uh, this doesn't work properly. This is GPS guided, doesn't take any data. I connect it to the, it shows zero now, and it's gonna, lead us through the whole thing. I'm gonna even reset this thing here. I'm sure yes. And I'm gonna reset here. So at the same time we're gonna check I'm gonna lead so check the trip meter and the speed of course. Okay let's go. Let's see, uh, and I say uh, the, the line, nothing is perfectly, absolutely perfect or 100% accurate, but if it lies one or one plus, so one minus kilometer on 100 kilometers, that's a 1%, and that's really nothing. So it shows 16, right now this one shows 16. So they work in sync, and my analog works just below 18 so it's about 60 right speed bumps and stuff and I'm gonna try even on a highway on the ring road here in Calgary we're starting from the south center here in the south portion of the city Calgary Alberta that's okay you just wiggle left and right don't move anything 16 18 18 see 18 18 18 so even from the small speed they are uh, completely in a sink. There is no lying. Everything is GPS guided. The car, the application here, and uh, my uh, dash camcorder. You put it here. You can, you can put it down on your lap if you want. Don't go like that because when I go faster, it's gonna be kind of weird. You holding, you can just put it down on your lap. Don't worry about it. Okay. I tried it already, but I, I'm just kind of uh, annoyed with the negative comments. Uh, and I, I say I don't promote the application. This is the first application free app I got on uh, Google Play for free. Just want to show you and make evidence because uh, I had a lot of negative comments regarding. Uh, application and accuracy itself and it's just not fair because you get something for free and you have doesn't use any data plan you have your cell phone with a GPS receiver see when you stop it stops to close to zero zero this is zero here too right and the car is not moving of course it's zero I like it and it works fine. People say, "Oh, do you have to buy? You have to buy like uh, the laser guided guys. That's if the police use. That's accurate. It's accurate if it's accurate. If you shoot directly in the window, uh, in, the, in the, the, the what's the first? What's the name of the of the guy in front? Window shield, right? Whatever." And if it comes back, then it's accurate. But if you're moving left and right, if you know, don't know how to use the, the, the laser uh, guided the gun, radar gun, 
it's not gonna be accurate. It's gonna be every every single measuring device has a plus and minus tolerance, right? Plus or minus. If it works, <laughs> that's this guy here. Just my new uh, new belt. <laughs> I liked it because it's really. <laughs> See, right now is 75, right? 76. 76. Here it's just about 76. Now I'm dropping. I'm gonna go on the, like a portion of the Deerfoot south band. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it on the cruise. It has a that adaptive cruise control, which has a ra radar and it, it follows the, like just below the cars. If the car kind of slows down, it's gonna slow down. I'm gonna demonstrate that thing too. I like my Nissan Altima, but I'm gonna go for the Nissan Leaf electric car, fully electric car. And I'm just hardly wait to trade this car. I know it's kind of crazy, but I like electric stuff and uh, I'm crazy about it. This car is really loaded with everything, has uh, maps, everything, but as I said, the radar, like uh, camera and everything, but New leaf is new leaf. Electric stuff is future. It's clean, it's, it's nice, it's reliable. New batteries are improving. Reach is improving. Like the, the distance between the charging. See, when you start, one, five, and it follows. If you follow this guy here. And that's 42, right? 40, 40. Oh, it's 50. Now it's 60. So if you have any problems, that would show. One, two, three, up or down, you would show directly. You would, you, you would notice. And that shows only the how the the guys who make producers from China. Uh, they lie on the, on the speedometer on on, on other meter. When you <clears throat> when you buy the motorcycle or e-bike, they want to show how you can go further with the battery charge and faster than you really are going. But this is like just a, a like evidence that is a truly accurate. All three devices work in sync and they show the same. That is impossible. All three are not. Are faulty are not uh, are not good so that means all three are good because they have not similar but exactly exactly same results 71 73 73 right and 71 71 it's constantly changing and I'm just gonna go here into the south portion of the Deerfoot South direction, and I'm gonna put here. I'm gonna put here on uh, 98. So now it's 98. Here's 100. Now it's 98. So now it's gonna go up to 98, and it's gonna hold that speed. 98. 97. 90, 98, 97, and how much is there? 97, 98, see, 98, record this one, 98, and over there I already put 98. See, I put 100, 100, zero, zero, and keep the distance 90 meters behind the car, and it's 99, right? Here it's 99. See, the guy wants to go and cut me off. I don't touch anything. Why? The reason why I'm not going over 100 or 100 because I have a light here which says, let's go 98 again. 98. It slows down now because the guy is just cut in front of me a little bit. There is a track by. Guy, now we're gonna go to let's see, let's say 110. Now it's 110. So 
110. I was gonna stop beeping because when you go over that, then alarm is gonna be deactivated. It shows 110, right? And it shows here 110. And it's gonna show a little bit less than 110 because the guy is slowing down. I'm gonna slow down to, to 97 now. 97. This guy is really, really slow in front of me. Let's go to 89. 89. See? He tries 89. 90. 89. 89. 87. 89. Now it's 89, right? That's okay, we're gonna go another. Uh, we just wanna show that it works on all possible speed. And here's 89, right? 89 here. 88, 89 here. And 90 for 89 here. See? Now we're gonna go to 105. 105. So every time I decide to go a little bit over 100, somebody drives in front of me and then settles below 900. <laughs> I'm not touching anything, so the radar is controlling the, the speed and the distance. I'm gonna shut it down because I'm gonna go right and just leave the their foot. I'll leave the their foot. Mackenzie Town Boulevard and that's it just to show and evidence that it indeed it's accurate so please don't say it's not accurate it is accurate <laughs> thanks for showing it thanks for recording it and thanks for enduring me I could be annoying but I just want to prove that something is very good if it's good Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.